and we you know we all know about Apple and and Facebook have massive amounts of constraints, and it has a lot to do with the storage and I/O. So let's talk about your manifesto, your research piece that you posted uh, called the I/O infrastructure, I/O centric infrastructure, uh, a little bit further. What was your key findings in your research? Well, the key finding, and I, I've been talking about it for some time, is that the disk systems themselves are, are the constraint on, uh, on so many applications. If you're going to make sure you have uh, guaranteed delivery of data, you have to put it onto some sort of disk. Uh, that's the only way you can guarantee that you'll find it when the system goes down. So that is that constraint in, uh, of disk is, is, is the disk that's just so, so slow and very, very um, narrow path to a huge amount of data. And they have not been speeding up at all. The amount of data you can store is massive on disk. It's very cheap per gigabyte. But the cost of it per I.O. Has, has, has not come down at the same rate. So what's interested me is the use of flash devices. And one of the things that happened very recently, which was seminal, was the... Um, uh, demonstration of a billion IOPS system. Uh, it, it just took uh, uh, eight of these uh, processors with uh, 64 cards to deliver a billion IOPS. Uh, that was between Fusion IO and HP in San Francisco just a few weeks ago. And what I did in this... Hold on, just back yeah. up a second. So HP yep. and Fusion IO, so HP servers... HP servers and Fusion IO, uh, Proline 370 servers and Fusion IO, the uh, IO uh, memory cards, memory to duo, cards. which is SSD or flash, right? Yeah, solid which state. is the SSD solid state uh, MLC cards. Uh, so uh, an amazing amount of density of IO uh, that could be generated. Now, very small IOs, 64 bytes only in size. Uh, so a, a very trivial in size compared with most applications, but really a, an amazing achievement. So